I ended up going to medical school and uh, decided to do emergency medicine, and which is a little bit of a different path than most primary care sports. Um, but I really like to see acute injuries, uh, manage fractures, and enjoy patients who are typically, you know, more stressed and concerned about their injury or what's going on. Then that led me to then primary care sports medicine fellowship, uh, which I did at Ohio State and had a great experience there working with college athletes. And um, really just kind of my path led me to working with athletes of all ages. I see ages two and up, um, active-minded athletes of all ages and levels of competition. Um, chronic overuse injuries, you know, something's been nagging at you for several months versus I just twisted my knee and it hurt just yesterday. And I also enjoy counseling patients about nutrition and the health benefits of exercise and dabble a little bit with just prevention, injury prevention, and how to prevent um, other injuries moving forward. Most people are kind of pleasantly surprised to know that um, there's a lot in the world of orthopedics and sports medicine that doesn't need a surgery and we can also often work through it with uh, multiple non-surgical techniques, treatment plans that don't necessarily involve um, shutting down and completely avoiding the things that they like to do. I was a chemistry major in college, so I like experimenting with ways of making coffee. <laughs> so I have a few coffee systems as well. Um, hiking, just really anything that's involved with being outside uh, is, is fun for me.